everyone, and welcome to the Weekly Report. I'm Maggie Green with City Communications. Here are the top three things you need to know this week. The Northwest 68th Street project starts this week. This $6 million Go KC Bond project will rebuild Northwest 68th Street from Northwest Wacomas Drive to US 169 Highway. This vital project will fully replace the failing road surface as well as address storm drainage, sidewalk, and curb improvements throughout the corridor. Art in the Loop is back for the eighth year. Art in the Loop is a curated outdoor exhibition in partnership with the KC Streetcar Authority. It includes photography, painting, digitalized illustrations, live performances, and more. Artists responded to the 2021 theme of resilience and addressed questions about what an inclusive, equitable, accessible, and vibrant downtown Kansas City looks like and what is needed for our city to remain resilient. Go to artintheloop.com for more information and times of live performances. If you or someone you know needs rental or utility assistance, the City of Kansas City, Missouri and KC Water may be able to help. KC Water recently partnered with Morningstar Community Center and the Local Investment Commission to help 70 residents. Rental assistance is also available from the City of KC Mo and other local agencies. Go to kcmo.gov and search emergency rent for more information or go to KC Water and click the financial assistance link. Thanks for watching the weekly report. I'm Maggie Green with City Communications. Stay tuned for city videos about these items and a cool video about the street resurfacing program. Well, tonight we're so excited to kick off the 2021 Art in the Loop project, which is a exhibition of artwork on the streetcar line by local artists and then a eight week music series as well as two dance performances where we're collaborating with Making Moves. So we're really excited this year we're able to bring back performances which we couldn't do last year. Um, we're going to have a performance tonight by the Everyday Strangers but every Thursday from 4.30 to 6.30 there'll be a live free open to the public performance um, out along the streetcar line. And we'll start publishing what stops we'll be at um, next week on our social media at Art in the Loop or at KC Streetcar. Um, I just want people to, to come out and see the, the artists and how they have, see the artwork they've created in response to the idea of resilience because I, I think it'll make you feel really good after coming out of this pandemic. And we've, we're gonna showcase music of all kinds from all parts of the city. So it'll be a great way to, to learn what's happening in Kansas City. Our Childhood Immunization Clinic is now back open for students to get up to date on their summer, fall 2021 school vaccinations. Please call 816-513-6108 to schedule your appointment today. The Health Department will also have traveling, back to school, and COVID clinics this summer throughout the community. Look for those opportunities on the KCMO.gov website and the Health Department social media channels. With every vaccination, we're one step closer to ending COVID-19 and other vaccine-preventable diseases. Help is available right now for Kansas Cityans behind on utility bills or rent. This assistance isn't limited to people affected by COVID. If you've been impacted by COVID or experienced another financial hardship, it doesn't have to be COVID related. We want to be able to assist you and provide those resources to you. Go online to www.kcwater.us and click the financial assistance icon on the home page. At kcmo.gov, you'll find a list of resources. West 68th Street, the site of the newest uh, Go KC Bond project. Uh, we are rebuilding the corridor from Northwest Wacomas Drive all the way to US 169 Highway. The project starts this summer and will wrap up by the end of the year. It's a pretty quick timeline. It's a design build project, the contractor Superior Bowen. So this vital project will completely reconstruct the failed roadway surface. Um, underneath here uh, was a concrete road. It's been since overlaid with asphalt. Uh, there are several joints um, along the road throughout the corridor that have failed. 
Uh, a couple of years ago, our maintenance staff um, did a, a mill and overlay resurfacing project on it to kind of hold it together. The project will also make improvements to sidewalk, curbs, and storm drainage along the entire corridor. We're very excited to, to get that started this summer. If I could encapsulate my experience with the parks in one word, I would use community because that is how I've met the most amount of people here in Kansas City so far since I am pretty new to the area. My name's Sarah Becker. I moved to Kansas City at the end of 2020 and I'm 29. I love Kansas City, but I don't love the trash problem. And so I've just noticed it and it's been something that's bugged me. And I just happened to see one of the Facebook events about signing up for the Indian Mound trash pickup. So I was like, why not? I, I don't like the problem, so I'll do something about it. So the parks have enriched my life by um, having a place to go outdoors. I love living in an urban environment, but it's nice to be able to get out and get back to nature for a little bit. The best part about being involved, especially with ambassadors, is that you can meet new people, like-minded people that you know share a lot of the same things. They love Kansas City, want to do something that benefits the community, the environment, and so we've also hung out outside of the um, pickup events too, so that's been a nice way to meet people. I think that it's the responsibility of the people to help keep the park clean and take care of it. KC Parks, the, you know, the government and everything, they need to help with maintaining it, but that doesn't necessarily mean like picking up the trash, so it's more like mowing the grass and things like that. So I feel like it's a mutual responsibility. <laughs> Kansas City offers a lot of variety with their parks. You see parks with splash pads, playgrounds, ponds, like frisbee, you name it. There's something for everybody. Um, so it's just about like learning about what the parks offer and find something that you really love. Just go out and enjoy it. Favorite memory probably so far is I just love being out in nature. And so the little lake at Swope Park, it's really pretty and it reminds me of where I used to live. So um, I took a trip out there with my husband and one of our dogs and it was just a nice day. 